right, uh, we're at Kerr Park. Kerr Park is right over here, the baseball fields. This is the end of North Stearns Road. It's about quarter to six right now on October the 29th, Sunday. Gonna go down and see what the uh, excavators have been doing. So let's take a little trip down here. What we're investigating is the so-called salmon, salmon restoration project. And so uh, they've been caterpillars, excavators, all kinds of tree crunchers for about two weeks now. And the best I can figure is they're going to uh, divert the river in a great big ditch. And they're going to divert it probably about a almost a half a mile east from here. And this is going to be the, at the west end. Uh, the end of North Stearns Road is at the west end of the excavation. So you can see that uh, they're excavating and making a ditch out this direction, which again is east. And they've been taking a lot of the dirt that they're taking from the east, bringing it over here at the west end of the wilderness area. Oh yeah, this is the wilderness area. No more, it's just a giant excavation project. So here we go, down the bulldozer road. <clears throat> yep, they've been munching up trees, rocks, dirt, everything. Munch, 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 dig, dig, dig. Making a big ditch. This is over, the river's over this direction. My house and Jason's house and Mike Gibson's house is over this way on the other side of that rise over there. But I'm gonna see where this ditch is going. Again, it's gonna head pretty much east from here. <clears throat> We were out in this area looking for homeless camps maybe about a year ago. And this was generally the path that the homeless guys and gals would take to get out into the wilderness area. They would go, you know, quite deep east, maybe about a quarter to a half a mile out here so that nobody would disturb their little camps. So obviously this is the, the solar panels for the Oakdale Golf and Country Club over here. <clears throat> yep, we should be approaching a great big ditch that's going to go east where the river takes a bend and then the water will come in up here at the end where the bend is and then dig a new channel pretty much and it'll come west for a distance of maybe a third of a mile a little more, a little less, and then back, and then enter the river before it gets this far. The water won't get this far. This is really not part of the big ditch. Golf and Country Club lower holes over here. Kind of surprised that we're not seeing much rock at the bottom here. At one time, this was part of the Atlas Quarry. The Atlas Quarry was a 
source of rock for a lot of the dams that were built back in the early 1900s. And a lot of it came from this area, but most of the rock came from an area that's probably about a mile further east from here, but certainly along the river. So here we go. Should be getting close to the ditch. The big ditch. Big ditch. Kind of curious about how big this ditch is going to be. It's going to have to be deep because the water level is going to have to match the natural level of the uh, of the river. Okay, so now we're getting down into the big ditch, and I guess the plan is to put a lot of round river rock at the bottom of the ditch. So that it's similar, so that it's similar to a river bottom. <laughs> nice workout for your dogs. Huh? Nice workout for your dogs. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to see where they're gonna. This is gonna be a new river channel, you know. It's gonna be a new river channel. Oh yeah. They, 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 I figured it was gonna be like a like a trail yeah. or something. Nope. They they think they're gonna actually get salmon to come in here. It's gonna go into the river up oh. here, not too far, and it's gonna enter up here at this end. So oh, and what do you call it? I call it a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. A two I million dollar a park or a walk a or something. A two million dollar ditch to hopefully get the salmon to have more room. And they're gonna have, go to all the trouble to get all that river rock somewhere, put it in the bottom down here, and think the salmon's gonna come back here. If you were salmon, would you come back here? Uh, <laughs> no. They gotta have water first. Well, yeah. You see, they're gonna tap into the river right up here. Did you go all the way to the end where it hits the no, river? No. Yeah. Well, that's where they're gonna hit right there. Bye, right I'm Gene. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Take ease. Take care. Okay, now we're getting closer to the river. Down closer to the river, there's a house up there. I think we're getting pretty close to where the ditch will come down to the west end. It'll re-enter the, the, the normal, regular river channel right about straight ahead here, I think. So anyway, wilderness area no more. They sure dug out more than they needed to. All they need is just a little bit for a, a river channel. Okay. Okay, we're headed toward the river now.
Yep. And I think they cleaned out a lot more trees than they needed to. Wilderness area no more. There's all kinds of stakes. So maybe this is kind of where the parallel channel, uh, the ditch will be parallel to the current river. And the river is just like right over there. Yeah, this is gonna be one big, wide son of a ditch. Son of a ditch. We've been hearing them out here for a good couple of weeks now. So I guess the plan is to kind of make this a, a new river channel. Maybe the light, the salmon will like. Who knows? I think these guys think they're so smart. These city people and the federal government they think that they're gonna get a few more salmon to come back to this area. Well, good luck. You can't fool Mother Nature, I don't think. But this obviously is starting to look like a a big ditch here. And we're going east. Yeah. This is what I kind of pictured it would be like. Great big old ditch. High sides. And they're gonna get the water to come down through the middle of this ditch. Well, I'm gonna stop right about now because I'm kind of running out of time in daylight. You can see that uh, this is one heck of a big excavation. And there's one of the neighbor's houses right up there. And yeah, one of the neighbors right there.